Sure, so consider your cell phone. So this is a highly organized piece of material and all the parts have to fit in just a specific way for it to do what it does. But let's say my wife has her cell phone and I have my cell phone and we have our kid and our kid finally turns to the age where they want their cell phone. I need these cell phones to compare notes and produce a new cell phone. So we just take our two cell phones, put them in a drawer, close the drawer, and out comes a little baby cell phone about a month later. Is that how it works? So think about what you have to do in order to get a machine to copy itself. This device, the body that you're living in, takes materials from its environment, reorganizes those materials, and constructs itself based on a blueprint. This is an enormous technical achievement that man has not yet successfully done, called a Van Neumann machine, a machine that reproduces itself. It would have to have all the parts that, the, of the machine so that the machine can do what the machine does, also all the parts it would need in order to copy itself. Plants can do it, animals can do it, insects can do it, germs can do it. So that's a ton of massively high level information baked into the living uh, world to be able to take all these pieces, put them together to build it itself. What would you add? Well, the simplest microorganism we know anything about is called Mycoplasma H39. Mycoplasma hominis H39 is looked at as being one of the simplest of all the microbes that are around, and yet it is still horribly complex with very specific enzymes, very specific proteins and all. And when you look at uh, mycoplasmas, they look like a, a fried egg, egg uh, appearance uh, under the microscope. But the point is this, there's nothing simple about them which leads me as a creationist never to use the phrase simple life because I would maintain if it's simple, it's complex. And certainly what uh, Dr. Thomas is talking about is true. How can you get a system like that spontaneously forming another cell just like itself? It's, it's something that we are unable to do at this point. And if we're ever able to do it, to produce a self-replicating uh, cell or proto-cell, it would only show that some of the brightest minds in the world with unlimited funding, with the best laboratory equipment can do what um, God has done with all of the cells of our body.